Steve Tenenbaugh here, and I'm here with a really quick video for you today. Um, so this is from a request I got through a uh, YouTube message, and basically they said, how do you fix this base SDK uh, missing error? So basically, this is an error you get when moving from the uh, iPhone SDK 3.0 to 4.0, um, and basically, the reason you get this error is that iPhone SDK 4 doesn't have support uh, for the uh, iPhone SDK 3.0 apps, so you lose that SDK by upgrading. Um, and because you lose the SDK support, it says base SDK missing. So what if you want to upgrade your application and make it work on 4.0? Well, the solution to this is very simple. I remember when I went from 3.0 to 4.0, um, it, took, it took me a while to find this, but uh, it turns out it's really very simple. Uh, so basically, you just uh, click on your Xcode project and click Get Info, and then this window pops up, and then you just go down here and it says Base SDK for all configurations, and you just go ahead and select iPhone Simulator 4.0. Now, if your app is a iPad app, then you just go to iPhone Simulator 3.2, uh, but if it's an iPhone or iPhone and iPad app, then you just go for iPhone Simulator 4.0. Once you've done that, then it's already selected as 4.0, and you'll notice now uh, in the uh, top left-hand corner, we have an option for device and simulator, and it has uh, the 4.0. So you know our app will now work perfectly on 4.0, and we can build it for 4.0. So there we have it. That's how you can um, add support for um, the iPhone or the iOS 4.0 platform, um, so how you can upgrade your application. Um, so as you can see, it's really easy to get rid of that error um, that pops up sometimes when up up upgrading your iPhone SDK and then trying to upgrade your application. Um, so I hope this helped the person who um, suggested it in a YouTube uh, message. Um, a lot of people got this error. Um, don't worry, there's nothing wrong with getting this error. Just as you, as you can see, it's a really simple fix for it. Um, if you have the old SDK as well, then you won't have to do this. Um, if you still want your app to be able to run on 3.0, for example. Um, but if you don't have the old SDK, then this is what you really need to do. So there we have it. Um, thank you for watching, and I hope this helped. I hope this helped uh, the person who requested it and anyone else who may be having this problem as well. Um, yeah. So until next time, I'll see you next. Uh, I'll see you in my next video. Um, and oh, just one thing: stay tuned to my YouTube channel because very soon I will be bringing up a lot more videos, uh, which is a continuation of my um, Exco build series. Oh, this is build series number one, and it's all about universal applications. So that's applications which run on iPhone apps. Um, or oh, sorry, app applications which work on iPhone, iPod Touch, and the iPad. So stay tuned for that. I know there's been a lot of people who have been really interested in making universal applications. Um, so this is a great place to start if you don't have a clue what to do. Um, so until next time, I'll uh, see you in my next video. Bye.